Hello everyone. I am so happy to welcome you back to Mary's Little House. <coughs> Excuse me. On Wednesday of the of the first week of Advent. Uh, I I've got to light the Advent wreath for one the first week of Advent with my my trusty matches here. Peanuts 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 away. Can I can I just present make let peanuts make his cameo appearance here. There's my peanut, our ministry dog. He's a really good dog. He's been so sweet. Uh, the people that are staying with us, we have a homeless family staying with us. There was no room in the inn, and I got to be uh, be the welcomer to to the, the this homeless family. Like Jesus and Mary and Joseph uh, were homeless too in Bethlehem. So I'm living out, in a way, that wonderful story of Christmas. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, anyway, <coughs> here's Peanut, and he's been very good to the family and everyone else. He he's our official greeter at the at the door. His little tail wags almost off, and he's uh he's wanting some attention and 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 everything from the greeters and giving a lot of attention to them. Okay, Peanut, you gotta go to sleep now. I start I'm starting to talk. Okay, now let's get some we get the Advent candle. We usually have a prayer. Uh, uh, with it, and we say, Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, this is the first set, first week, Wednesday of the first week of of Advent. I I'm so glad to be with you. And, uh, and to be celebrating, uh, traveling with you through this season of Advent, which can, can be very, from Thanksgiving to Christmas, very busy with all the Christmas preparations. But I, as I said in one of my reflections, I do hope th that you'll have quiet time. It might be in the middle of the night, but but, but to take a, a time to ponder the Advent readings in, in the in the in the in the lectionary, <coughs> or in your missal. The Advent readings there are so beautiful. We're going to come back to the today's Advent reading. Are those who can, who are retired, can, or, or who it's possible, even in your busy schedule, <laughs> schedule, excuse me, to, to to do daily mass? That's a wonderful way to prepare for for the for for the Christmas and to prepare uh, for Jesus' second part of His coming at the end of the world. Uh, and the priest today and it, uh, reminds us that not only do we prepare for the celebration of Christmas, of, of remembering his first coming in Bethlehem, and the end of the world when he will come in glory to bring us into our Father's house forever in heaven, we also prepare for other, other advents of Jesus. One is very personal when we die. Jesus will come. Uh, the, to to bring us into our uh, in the particular judgment in, in uh, to heaven personally just us not all everybody else but just us when we die so we always have to be prepared for that and the best way I I find uh, and I hope I remember every day sometimes I forget I have to be reminded to live this day as it's the last day uh, 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 of our lives to, to if, we, if there's some, some forgiveness needed, I remember one time I was going to mass and and I remember I I heard someone's feelings. I I I, I was a little bit um uh, uh like I was acting like a jerk really to tell you the truth. And I and I wanted before I went to mass, before I did anything else, before I laid my head on the pillow, I wanted to ask write a note and ask forgiveness for me being such a such a jerk and, and maybe hurting this person's feelings but so, so we got it you know take care of these things now now is the time of salvation we never know when he will come uh, uh, for us in our in our at our in our own death or when he will come at the end of the world there's uh, Jesus has always been telling us and the apostles be ready always ready always heads up not in a fearful way, but in a joyful way. Because if we're ready, we're, 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 they'll find us, Jesus will find us in love with him. Jesus will find us serving him and, and serving others. So as this is what Advent's about, all year long we always have to be ready. But Advent, 
gives us this time <coughs> to, to, to be waiting, waiting upon the Lord, uh, pondering the, 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 uh, 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 the coming of the Lord, what will be like. Like today's first reading uh, from, from, from Prophet Isaiah, he, 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 he talks about this holy mountain, this holy mountain. Look what he says about it. This is when he, God will come again. This is what will happen. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples, all peoples. That's a whole human race, a whole human family. He will provide a feast of rich food and choice wines. Juicy, rich food and pure choice li wines. See, he'll fulfill all our needs. Uh, it keeps on going. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. See, there's a pall, a veil, a heavy uh, web we're caught in. And he's going to destroy those and, and rip away those veils of, of fear of death and fear of, of, of others and fear, all kinds of fears. All that palm that makes our lives so hard and, and drudgery and everything. He's going to, he's, we're going to be, oh, uh, exposed to the sun, exposed to the, the love of God uh, 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 and, and, and not be afraid. He's going to, all those veils that make us feel so ho awful. He's going to, uh, our sins, he's going to forgive them and will it will restore our joy and our purity and our preciousness of our bodies and the goodness of uh, of, 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 of ourselves and, and, and our readiness uh, and, and give us that readiness to, to share our goodness with others. Okay, the Lord will get, wipe away the tears of, from our faces and all, all the things that make us sorrow, he's going to wipe away our tears like a, like a doting loving father he's going to take his handkerchief and 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 and, and dab dab off all our, uh, those tears of our on our faces he will take away all that makes us sorrowful the reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth for the lord has spoken so all these things that condemn us and everything he will forgive he will he will make new and and we will be people not full of guilt and burden and and hurt and fear, but 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 happy and joyful people. The reproach to over all the earth. I mean, it's it's it is it is no no limit to his love. On that day, is it when he comes again? This is what we're waiting for at the end of the world. On that day, he it, it will be said, "Behold, our God, to whom we look to save us." This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that He has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this holy, on this mountain. So, so we're, we're all invited up to that mountain, and that's when He will come again. And that is, he, he's, he's, he's describing heaven. He's describing the new earth and the new heaven when He will come again. So, so that's what we have to look for. And then in the gospel. Jesus is the fulfillment of this very prophecy of Isaiah that I just read to you. What does he do? He has a large crowd of people who've been with him three days and didn't have a chance to, to go, go eat any food. Now look what Jesus does. What does he do? Jesus called his disciples to him and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd. By now they have been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not wish to send them away hungry, for fear they will collapse on the way. Look what the disciples, he is asking his poor disciples. He, 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 his disciples said to him, How could we ever get enough bread in this deserted spot to satisfy such a crowd? It was a big, big crowd. Okay, but Jesus asked them, How many loaves of uh, bread do you have? Seven, they replied. Uh, seven and a few small fish then he directed the crowd to seat themselves on the ground he took the seven loaves and the fish and after giving thanks he broke them and gave them to the disciples who in turn gave them to the crowds all ate until they ate their they were full when they gathered up the fragments left over these filled seven hampers seven hampers, seven basketfuls. So see, Jesus, in the person of Jesus, is the kingdom of God, is his coming. He came uh, in Bethlehem, he grew up, and he's feeding this crowd now. 
anticipating that holy mountain where God's giving all this juicy food, a feast, rich food and rich wine, juicy, rich, rich food, pure and choice wine. This is Jesus. He's doing it right now in this multiplication of the bread and the fish. Uh, and, and so, so Jesus is the fulfillment of this, and 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 he and he will he will make it happen uh, 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 through his death and resurrection. That's the uh, he will he will bring this new. It's already here. This kingdom to fulfillment right now, and, and until he will come again in glory. So this is so exciting. We're living in this time, and God is calling us to 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 be anticipation of all this. And to and to start now, uh, to to uh, to welcome him every moment of our lives as he comes to us in his word, as he comes to us in in, in the beauties of nature, as he comes to us, uh, 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 calling us to 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 follow him, to heroically to deny our very selves. If you want to follow me, he says, you must deny your very selves, take up your cross, and follow me daily. Uh, so, so, and, 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 and he gives us a formula. The priest today the, uh, who gave the homily said, notice in the Mass and, and in all his uh, multiplication of, um, uh, 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 of the bread and his serving the meal, he always does these things. He takes the bread, he takes it in his hand, and, and we are to take what God is giving us now. We take that bread he blesses it or gives thanks, blessing, giving thanks, same thing. He takes the bread, he blesses the bread, he gives thanks to the Father. That's our grace before meals. Give thanks to the He breaks the bread uh, and he gives it out. Do you see? Oh, so 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 what he's calling us to do is is receive God's all of God's bread that he can, it fills our hands and our 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 our, 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 our arms with. He overloads us with his gifts and blessings. He be, and we, we, we take this bread, we take ourselves, we're the bread now, too, uh, for others. He takes this bread, and, 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 and he takes this bread, and he gives thanks uh, uh, for it, and, and then he breaks it. Breaking it means that we die to ourselves, and we give ourselves in service to the others. He breaks it, and then we break it by dying to ourselves, and then we give ourselves in service to others. So we take, give, bless. Uh, break and give and 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 give out. That's that's what he wants us to do uh, 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 with our with our lives for others, as he did for us at the Last Supper when he took that bread and said, "This is my body, which will be given up for you." But he said, but he always took the bread and said, uh, uh, he took it in his hands. He 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 give thanks, give thanks, uh, blessed it, he and broke it. And, and he gave it out to others in the same way with our lives. We're to do the same. We take out the life he gives us and, and, and give thanks for to God for all, all his blessings. And, and then we, we, we break it. We die to ourselves. We don't hold it back. We break it away from ourselves and we give it to others. I am so happy to be with you. So happy to be part of this Advent uh, uh, 2012. I, I thank you for being with me. And, and, and God bless you all. God will pray to have a good Advent. God will hear your prayer, and and so you can come to Christmas renewed in in your life and full of hope for a world that needs hope more than ever. God bless you.